We as an industry also, but also the, 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 the teens coming into this, we should rethink if we're in the industry of doing ads or are we in the industry of creativity. I think that maybe we're stuck a little bit with the words agency and advertising. And I think nowadays clients need more and more help that we can give them because we are, our agencies are full of the best creative talent in the world, honestly. I've been, I've been sitting with people that, you know, they have startups and blah, 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 but the amount of good ideas that we throw away or we just do in a small scale or that could become a great business that we do every day is huge. So, so my recommendation for the, the kids trying to come into this is first start working as fast as you can. Uh, honestly, do the basics, of course, and, and I think that one of the basics is do study a lot of craft. I think craft is, is going to be essential in the future, and that's one of the things that uh, I think is going to be left behind, the copywriter, our director thing. I think now you need to do everything, and it's digital, and it's, it's a lot of things. You need to study design so the craft can be good. But, but don't study too much. I think that you're going to learn much more if you just jump into an agency, jump into a creative company, jump into Facebook or whatever, and just put your creativity to work towards brands and their businesses. I think the advice I would give to young creatives, young people who are entering creative and design fields, is that uh, the kind of rules are changing all the time and that it's an exciting time to kind of think about things in a different way. Um, in the category I was judging in, we uh, we're able to think about brand communications through a whole different, whole set of different lenses, and it's exciting to be able to consider um, product design and film and social media and all that as part of this um, new new formats to think through creative ideas. Something that you want to say, and something that 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 is inside of you that you want to express, because because what we are, what the, the creative industries, whether it's advertising or um, music, shooting music videos or becoming a director or a playwright or a screenwriter or an artist. It's all about self-expression. Um, I think that's the great thing about our industry is that it's, it's a collision of media and arts together. Um, and if, if you've got something to say, something that you want to express, it's a great industry for you to get into. It does have a commercial element into it. So it's not out and out pure creativity like a poet or an artist would, would have. Ultimately, they still need to sell their stuff. They still need to be economically viable. But, but ultimately, I think that if, you, if you're interested in business and culture and commerce and art and creativity, um, it's a fantastic industry for you to go into. Um, again, it's all about self-expression. Uh, and, and we find that through whatever brief you may get or whatever opportunity you get, um, you're always able to weave a little bit of what is important to you. And, and, and that's the kind of work that we want to see. We want to see personality reflected in the work. Um, and that comes down to an individual self-expression. I think you should only go in advertising if you love communication. This is the first thing I would tell them. And the second thing is it doesn't make sense if you don't believe in the power of communication. So, and I sometimes I think um, a lot of people in the industry itself question the power of communication nowadays, which is really bad. So starting out as a college or university student, I think um, you only know what you know, so exposing yourself to um, as much award um, entries and uh, programs as possible is fantastic. Um, so learning from the award winners, um, making a list of people who you can hit up. Um, they only know you, they, they, they don't know you, they don't see you, so making a list of who you can actually meet. I think award shows are great for young people to not only enter, but also to see the calibre of work that's out there and to make uh, a contacts list for who they can connect with um, when they either graduate or when they're looking for work. Um, they can skill themselves up on the type of work that person does, um, type of clients they work with and really research in, in depth as to um, what they're going to be exposed to out in the real world. So I always said to myself or said to people that I've always told them is that you know sometimes when you go to work it's 
you know, it's, it's very, very tough. It, sometimes it can get very stressful. But just go for a walk, go outside, go see a homeless person. It puts everything in perspective. Appreciate going to work, appreciate you have a job. Even my friends still, um, still don't have a job. So appreciate that um, and stay hungry. And then the fact that we get paid to do this, it's, it's amazing. Sometimes I would, be in, I would be in like a recording studio making like, like you know, doing sound effects or making fart, fart noises. And I'm like, what, we're getting paid to do this? If I could tell myself something like before I, I went into my first job, I would probably say it's just advertising. <laughs>